Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We have seen most of the games finished, but with me I have Hagen Puch and he's gonna show his um was well, it looked pretty decent victory against Lucas van Verest. Yeah. Um can you just walk us um through the game a bit? Yeah, of course. Uh, so <clears throat> yeah and uh, I knew uh yes Lucas he mostly plays E5 against uh, very strong players. So yeah, I guessed that right but also, um, yeah, knight f3, knight c6, but I didn't prepare that much. Uh, so, uh, bishop c4, I, I looked at some bishop c5 variations here. Uh, I saw that he played uh, knight f6 more often. Mm -hmm. uh, but so, yeah, yeah but I just uh, trusted that I know so many lines here, and uh, yeah, mm -hmm. I just trusted that uh, I would also have no problems with the line he plays yeah and so he goes uh, this is main line and actually the yeah knight d7 knight uh, d5 h4 i played this three or four times already in the uh, earlier tournament mm -hmm. and yeah here bishop e7 is of course one of the main moves uh, i also had one game with this um yeah but this is, this can be very hard for white if if you don't know the um, moves because yes the main line uh, I had one game in 2013 end of 2013 I played queen f3 and my opponent played knight f6 or something and this is just better for white but of course the uh, main line here is f5 bishop takes rook f8 here white can also play g4 but uh, th this is one but uh, this is not that of played that often Suddenly, I remember yeah, this. this. this is, uh, I, 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 I knew I knew I checked some stuff in this line, but I never know how to get there. But once I see it, I'm like, yeah, this is the uh, line. I know it's completely. Cr and there's a list. I think the king goes to the queen side, right? Yeah, some right. Lines. Th this, this is the main line here. Uh, yeah, there's also g4 possible, but I think queen h5 is the, the move you have to play, and then you have to know it very well. But <laughs> this this line is uh, yeah. I, I analyzed it. Uh, back in five or more years ago, uh -huh. but I uh, didn't remember that it's something d3 bishop d2 is possible. I think the engine think, gets yeah. like around equal, mm -hmm. but yeah, it's this, so mm -hmm. complicated. The engine first says it's better for white, but yeah, it's complicated. And if he is well, that well prepared <coughs> to risk, uh, uh, white is, can uh, also lose such position. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, yeah. So yeah, that's, I that's complex. I played uh, another move. Uh, yeah, yesterday, uh, yesterday, last year I played against Buman and he played Bishop C five and I played Queen F three. This uh, so a bit similar. And after the game, I asked him uh, what he would have played uh, after Knight C three. Uh, here also Knight C three is possible, hmm. but here it's a bit better than after Bishop A seven, I think. And yeah, he re he said, oh, he would have played f5, but then it's just bad for me. So yeah, mm. maybe I also should have played this uh, yeah, last year. But okay, uh, here knight c3, yeah, I know that this is not as good as in uh, queen f3, and black could get into a, a good position, a better position. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I don't know exactly how. So I just hope that he would have would not have prepared this line. Yeah. Since I also have already played one game with Queen F three. Okay. Yeah. Um, he plays. That's a little, a little bit yeah. of a gamble. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> oh, I mean, sometimes you need to gamble a bit to. Uh... Right. Uh, yeah. And I don't also don't know what's the move here. Knight F four, H six. One of these has to be played, but <coughs> the move order exactly. Yes. This mm -hmm. is. I mean, this is a common move in such a position. It's also one uh, move earlier, knight f4 is possible, so here it definitely is, looks like a normal move. Mm -hmm. h6, uh, knight f3, I think. Yeah. Uh, knight e4 is not that good when I already have the knight on c3. Uh, I, I think yes, right. knight f3 mm -hmm. is good. Uh, bishop g4 is, seems logical to me. Maybe black can. Yeah, maybe Black can sacrifice a pawn by casting or something, but I also don't. You don't have, have to take to it. Take it. Yes, yeah. I can play G three and Bishop G two. Maybe developments also. Yeah. <laughs> Should be very you good. Need to be done at some point. Yeah. Yeah. Also here, I have D three, D four, or G three here. Um, I'm also not sure which one is the best. 
it already looked quite mm. comfortable for you here. Yeah. Because, okay, even though black is completely developed, it's not uh, like he has yeah. very active pieces. Mm -hmm. Right. And you're very uh, soft. Yeah, I had tried to, I had tried to, to play, uh, let's say, safe. Uh, but, I mean, uh, yeah, I didn't want to go too risky. I mean, I could have kept the pawn with a g3, d3. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I often uh, analyze something like this and d3, castle, everything, d3. Uh, of course, not not in this position, but uh, in some similar mm. positions, this this works quite fine. With, uh, and this may maybe it's not that good, but don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and after this four, yeah, I thought, uh, yeah, he he thought a long time. I I thought he would take here, and I would take with the queen. Maybe I, it's possible to take with the pawn, but uh, it's, it looks awkward. Yeah, why? Well, if he takes d4, he gets the pawn back, but I have the bishop pair, I can play g3. Mm -hmm. mm. This should be better for me. It looks so yeah, nice. Yeah, it looks nice. It's, it's nice, it's not. The good, he has some weak pawns. Yeah. Uh, especially this c6 pawn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, um, yeah, I didn't expect 96, but then uh, I saw, yeah, this also should be quite a good move. Um, yeah, I think I have to take, not that sure, but I think I should take uh, Queen D1, uh, King D1 is too, <laughs> too risky, I think it's just... We checked for a bit, but there are so many ways Black can activate his pieces, yeah. it's yeah. getting... I mean, there's a good chance you might just lose yeah. a piece. <laughs> so this, this is still uh, fine, fine. Uh, mm -hmm. Now I should look how to pr protect my C pawn. It's Bishop d3, it's, all, uh, it's get, getting attacked after knight f3 and knight e5, so I mm. decided to play knight e3. Uh, knight also, I think you want your bishop uh, on g2. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> yeah definitely a good, better square for the bishop, yeah. Yeah, here he, maybe he could have played, uh, I was thinking for some time maybe he could play knight d4 check back. Mm -hmm. But maybe, I, I think I would go king d1, there's also king here, uh, <coughs> long castle. I have one check on h3, but uh, yeah, this looks very dangerous for the king. Yeah. Uh, I I have one question, by the way, mm -hmm. if you don't mind. Yeah. We were wondering if he could also play bishop h4 here. Oh yeah, I, I, keep the I, didn't, a bit. I didn't see this, but but uh, if I join, then go bishop g2, your bishop is hanging, and ah, bishop g5, and then bishop g5. Oh, yeah. interesting. Yeah, I, I missed bishop uh, h4, but... Because if you go uh, c3, bishop e3, yeah. cd4, then suddenly it's not so comfortable for white anymore. No, this is not good. And because after knight f3, I mean, your, your moves make sense. Yeah, king mm. e2, bishop g2. Yeah. But here, I, I wasn't but sure if you could make if, useful moves. Uh, cannot, I cannot play something like f4 and b4 and then get pressure on c6, but... <laughs> it would be funny. Uh, but the, the still C2 very, is also a problem. Very tactical, yes. This is. I don't believe that this is the. Mm, yeah, he he can always take on e3. But yeah, this looks quite interesting. But at the same time, I wonder if I just win, I can just win a pawn somehow. But on. Even, I mean, this idea of bishop e4, but they can take and... But now king e2 and then knight e4, yeah. Uh, it's a bit unclear, I mm, felt this might be a bit yeah, more yeah. Um, worrisome for you. Yeah. But okay, maybe just king f1, then black needs to bring mm -hmm. the bishop back, and then... But yeah, then lose e5. Very interesting. Okay, yeah, complex, complex line. I lose e5, but, but do I have something like uh, the bishop e4 and b4 and... No, b4 and no. f4 or something and bishop b4 now oh, oh, oh yes so you need to go bishop, so d2, bishop but d2 yes and then f4 and this is hanging okay then okay it gets messy here yeah. <laughs> or, or bishop c3 mm -hmm. this looks very hard for black to defend but uh, yeah okay it's an interesting option that's interesting yes knight f3 knight e5 uh b3 castle yeah i think this should be better for white uh because i have the bishop there um, it's, mm -hmm. I don't know how much it is, but it's better for, and, yes. and Black needs some time to develop his knight. Mm -hmm. Of course, I also need to develop. Uh, okay, I, for 
a little bit faster here and v1 which is knight 7 h5 knight c5 um yeah he played very fast this all, all, all of this <laughs> and yeah yeah i didn't understand why he played so fast but yeah not bad moves um um here yeah here it got some it got tricky yeah i I so thought yes, that now I get the default or he has to go back. So mm -hmm. uh, play rook e1, put more pressure on him. But wait, the, the, this is a line, yeah, rook d8 is a line where I like, sacrifice the pawn, right? So uh, I don't want to take it like this um, because this opposite kind of bishops, mm -hmm. and I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I thought there should be something better. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, this is uh, no risk for me. Um, no, but maybe a fun up. Yeah. Uh, you also, you something like f4 or rook e1 and f4. Mm. Yeah. And, yeah. Okay. Uh, maybe, yeah, th there could be some tactical things like knight g4, but. Uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, because of. After rook d8, knight d8 always defends the pawn. Um, yeah, but still, I you're always going to be more active than yeah. straight constable. So, is, mm. so I have to be a bit careful, but yes, okay, the engine says rook d8, but yeah, some yeah, many players would not would, would, do, would not do this just because mm. there's the pawn hanging. And, yeah. So play king c7. Yeah, so things uh, got pretty, um, it went pretty quick here. Yeah. Uh, but okay, I had less time than him, so I had to <laughs> watch out that I go. And True. yeah, I, I overlooked one more thing after he played. I had a four, uh, uh, okay, my plan is rookie one. I, I also could go rookie one here, so he has no knight move because of knight defense check. Mm. check. This would have, nice. would have been interesting, but I just saw it after I played knight. <laughs> yeah. uh, Okay, knight f5, knight g4. Um, yeah, and here was the question do I take on f6 first or on g7 first? Uh, and if I take on f6, I think he pro would probably play it like this uh, rook e5. And I was not so sure how I can come back with the knight and also save with the one extra pawn. Maybe rook um, d3, rook f3, but. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He can take on. Or maybe d4 f1. Oh, oh yes, then. Uh, then rook f3. Then rook f3, yeah. So, okay. he, so he takes with the knight on h5. Uh, then like yeah, this. then you take back on rook f. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. you can protect and f7. Knight, knight d6, yeah. yeah. This is. So, so, uh, so I prefer to play knight g7 mm -hmm. first. And yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I only calculated takes, takes, and f6, after which I just. Uh, very good. I, I can just play rook e4. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, from g4, I, I uh, <laughs> protect the bishop on d7. Yeah, okay. And yeah. Is, yeah I, and suddenly, yeah, I, uh, suddenly I see, oh, he can have some, he has some, he has some ideas like this. Uh, knight hmm. to f3. And you okay. take rook g8. Yes, yeah. if I take rook g8. And he plays the, uh, the other way around, also not bad. I mean, he, he still could. Uh, play knight f3 later, um, but here I think uh, king, king h1 should be pretty safe. Um, and here it's the other way, but I but I didn't see it. If I yeah, I, I could uh, lose material like this, yeah, but in this position uh, I was a bit lucky that uh, yeah, mm, there's no problem for me yeah, here. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, yeah. On knight h2 here, I also have king g, have to go king g1 because my bishop would be hanging knight f3 king h1 and yeah. But he doesn't get anything yeah, from it. Yeah, he does it. And I get bishop e5 check or something. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so he played rook g5. Uh, I thought um, yeah bishop h3 was. I was yeah here here I was about to play rook d3 but then I. Uh, looked a bit more at it and thought bishop h3 is a better move. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I can play like this uh, rook here and I don't know. But my point was uh, um, that 
if he tries to get something with back, then uh, the material back, then his pieces would be, um, yeah, uh, trapped. Yeah, it's mm. like what happened in the game. Mm. Yeah, that should happen. Mm. And also if the knight, if he goes knight to h2 check, I have some rook d7. I think rook d7, and the funny thing is on king h, king c8, I, was, uh, I have to go back. Right. Because, uh, and then, uh, yeah, but then but, I mean, look at his knight on h2. Right, and bishop d2, bishop f4. Uh, yeah. yeah, okay. Of yeah. course, he has some knight c5, but it's not so, not, not that easy. But it looks, I mean, you can go rook e3 here as well. Yeah. Looks but, terrible. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, and that's pretty much it. Let's, let's go through the last move. Yeah, because here it was pretty much game over. Mm -hmm. Right. His bishops are so strong. Yeah. Yes, he tried to uh, make some complications here. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, I found that uh, uh, I had five minutes or something like this on the clock, and I thought, uh, oh, should I exchange the pieces, the piece on his board to win a pawn, and then he gets his activity back? And I almost, mm. I almost thought like I have to, but of course not. But uh, I almost have. I have to go to rook and game. <laughs> okay, yeah, that seems unnecessary. Uh, yeah. But uh, here, this was much stronger. Yes, rook g6, and mm -hmm. I thought first I thought that he could take, but uh, of course, if he takes like this, then I can mm -hmm. bishop e3 check and winning the knight. And uh, yeah, uh, what does the computer say? Yeah, knight I'm, I'm not F6. sure about this. I'm not sure what where this uh, came from. So. Uh, I think I would better have, ignore these I lines. I would have played f3 and win the knight. Of course, it's not that much. Maybe just knight c3 and knight b5. But ah, okay. I'm, I'm not wow. sure what this one yeah. is. But. Interesting, knight c3, knight b5. Wow. Yeah, but he has to find. Okay, he has 20 minutes on the clock. Mm -hmm. But yeah, he, he took on f2 and I made a game check. Uh, king b5. Uh, king b7, yes, I win the rook with the rook takes h6. King a5 is made with bishop d2 and a4. It's and made, and right? uh, yeah, a4 check, and it took some three minutes to, for me, or five minutes to find c3. If, if, there, if that was not uh, 40 moves, I would have repeated the moves first. I would have done, done this. A and I think. And if, if this is 40 moves, then yeah, no. Nice. Yes, right. and uh, of course, yes, c3 and the idea bishop c7 or bishop b4 is the most forcing. Yeah. Nice. Uh, nice game. It looks very solid. Um, uh, we, we had the question if you have, okay, it's a bit too early, but have you ever won a big tournament like this already? Mm, not uh, not alone and also not, not uh, the best. I didn't have the best. Um, uh, tiebreak, tie yeah. Break, yeah. Mm. yeah, I have been tied for first place in Vienna in 2013, and so uh, yes, I had the first, uh, the third, I was first place, mm -hmm. yeah. and I almost won uh, Padovice in 2014. Ah. Uh, I lost against Nisipiano in the last round, but Those uh, are if I didn't big lose, uh, then uh, I would have been first. Okay, so, yeah. so tomorrow you get a pretty good chance at um, yeah, this be, a real be, tournament victory. Yes, this would be my biggest tournament win. Huh? Well, I mean, um, I think also uh, Moline won it last year, but um, also Sharkseal is probably still a contender. Mm -hmm. So um, I w thank you for your analysis. I wish you the best yeah. of luck in the game tomorrow, in the last round. Yeah, thank you. And uh, we're going to a short break. And after that, my colleague Daniel will be here with Frieso Nijboer and Ilke de Boer. So stay tuned and we'll be back in a few minutes.